Hello, mic test. Hello, hello. So good evening. Good evening, guys. Um, we are going to to continue the so-called uh, block diagram simplification under control engineering. And we know that uh, this block diagram simplification is one of the methods to represent transfer function of a system, which is the relationship of output and the input, then it will uh, go under a process, the so-called the transfer function. So right now we were given the, in this example, example number nine, a block diagram to simplify. And uh, how do we go about it? Um, let's take a look at this uh, point P1. Yeah. Uh, what uh, it says is that we, are going to simplify this and, and we, we just couldn't uh, multiply this. Although they are in series, we just couldn't uh, simplify. Why? Because there is uh, this uh, there's this uh, summing point or pickoff point, right? So you just can't uh, manipulate the two directly. So what we ought to do is this. No? So this thing here, we we need to bring here this better, right? So this thing. Okay. So how do we do that? How do we do that? No. So if uh, we have uh, this uh, pick up point and we need or we ought to transfer this B uh, ahead of the block, right? So we're gonna we're gonna bring this here. Okay. So the concern block is this, right? <clears throat> so what's gonna happen is that we are are going to multiply this with one over g sub 3 yeah okay in order to go there right no. so we can we can eliminate now this but there's more here in the below now in the block below so we need to to also uh clear this right so this should be clear no so here, this one is also the concerned one. Another block should be put, and then we put the one over G3, okay? So here, um, uh, there is this arrow that that tells us what to do. So we should bring this uh, pick up point piece of one to the right side here uh, along the line with the T2 so that we can um, manipulate G2 and G3. Then after that, we can now uh, multiply. <laughs> we can now, we can now, let me pull out another color. We can now, manipulate this because they are in series, right? If they are in series, we just have to multiply, no? Or get the product. And then we can uh, have this feedback, you know, right? Is this. So how do we do that? Um, it's like uh, H3, then G2, G3, okay? Then uh, there's a summing junction, and here is the negative. It's like that. Okay. So when we simplify, when, when we simplify this, the the top for the top portion would be 
like this. Now there's a there's a feedback form along the feed forward path, and it's gonna be this now G two, G three over one. Then the reciprocal of this negative. So if it's negative, we put positive. Then uh, the product of the the blocks in the loop, you know, which is what G two, G three, H three. Okay, so easily we were able to simplify this. Okay, so let us see. So here's the original, right? Here's the original. What we intend to do is to bring this here. And then also this here, no? So when we bring this, we have to um, put a parallel but uh, reciprocal. Uh, so parallel and reciprocal, this one. So this one, no? So it's like a 1 over G3, no? right? 1 over G3. So it's here, H over G3. And then here is 1 over G3. So it's like this, okay? So when we uh, were able to simplify this, we were able to remove the pick up point here, then we can just uh, get the product of this, which is G2 times G3, okay? It's the, it's, uh, the one I... I I uh, write before G two G three, and then the feedback loop, which is uh, shown by the H three, it, it has a positive. Uh, I, I think it has a negative sign, so it should be, it should have a positive later. Yes. Okay. So let me show you. So, where are we now? Uh, G two G three is here, then the feedback is H three. No, so G two G three, then the feedback is H three. No? And then there's some injunction, there's a negative here, and there is like that. Okay? So when we eliminate the feedback loop, no, this loop here, let me pull out another better this one. When we try to clear or move, eliminate this, we will come up with this, not G2, G3, and that's it, right? And then the feedback is one. Since it is minus, it should be plus here. One plus, then the product of the loop concerned, no? That is uh, consisting of the block G to G3, G to G3, uh, okay, times H3, no? Because these are the blocks concerned, okay? So this is it, right? Okay. Then we have a kind of a kind of feedback that uh, was formed which is a2 plus over g3 and this one h2 over g3 when we multiply h2 by 1 over g3 and when we multiply h1 by 1 over g3 so that this is what we get right so now um we are going to simplify the next thing how do we simplify this right it's a feedback loop, right? So what we intend to do is to follow the feedback uh, canonical form, which is feed forward, then one, if it's minus or plus, feed forward times feedback. And this is uh, essentially the G and this is the, the H. So when we do that, we, we, we write the G right away, which is G2, G3. 1 plus G2, G3, H3. So that is G. Then 1, um, it is minus, so the reverse is plus. Then the product of this, no? this at the feed forward and this at the loop side or the feed, feedback loop side. So we're, we're going to just copy this. So G2, G3 over one plus g2 g3 h3 and then uh, we have to multiply by h which is h2 over g3 let me pull out another color because the 
the background is red, right? Uh, so the feedback is H2 over G3. Okay, so we, we can eliminate the, the denominator because we, we don't um, normally put the denominator here now because uh, we want to clear this up now. So 1 plus G2, oh, G3, H2, that's the this common denominator that we're going to use. So 1 plus G2, D, G3, H3. Is there, is, is, there, is there H right? Right. Yes. Okay. And also, on this side, we are going to multiply that. 1 plus G2, G3, H2. Okay. As if we did nothing because uh, these are the same. And when you divide the variable or any uh, mathematical element for that matter by itself, when you divide this, it's just one. So as if we did nothing. So, But this will clear out everything when you multiply uh, uh, the numerator. This is the bar line, the main bar line. So this one will be canceled. So what will be left out is G2, G3. And this one, you have to multiply this uh, distributive. Lee distribu distributive property. So, so this one and this one will, will have 1 plus G2, G3, H3. And then this one, when you multiply this with this, so this whole thing, 1 plus G2, G3, H3 will be canceled out, right? And what will happen is that this one will, will remain, uh, but we have G3 here, so it will be canceled out. So what will finally remain here in this expression is G2, then what is this? H2. Okay, so what uh, the term that is going to be left out is G2, G3 over 1 plus G2, G3, H3, then plus G2, H2. So this one. Okay, so this is what this is uh, what we what we're trying to do, no? In order for us to to eliminate uh, this, no? Because uh, we already uh, have this as a product, then we have the feedback, no? Because we we put this here and we put this here, then in order for us to uh, get the simplification simplified form of this, we have to do this, right? So what, what do we do here? So here will be canceled uh, out, but here is, it is dis distributed. That's why 1 plus G2, G3, H3. So it is 1. Then here what will be left out is G2, G3, but the G3 will be canceled. So G3, G3. So what will be left is G2, H2, right? Okay, and um, the other the other thing is uh, G two G three here, right? So here we have to to simplify with this, right? This is this is the last thing because this we have just have to multiply with this. So the numerator now will have G1, G2, and G3, this one. We have to multiply this block with this. G1, G2, G3. And then here, to, to have the, the feedback, 1, then it is minus here, minus here, so it's plus. Then the product of this this whole thing and this no one plus what g1 g2 g3 right over this one um when we when we have this uh G two, G three, H three, 
then uh, G to H2, G to H2. G to H2. Okay, one plus, then G2 usually cancelled, and then uh, one plus mm -hmm. G1, G2, G3, H3, then uh, plus, right? Sorry, plus G2, H2. This one, yeah, G2, then H2, because G3 will be cancelled out. Okay, so that is G, and another uh, another H is one, no? H1, G3. Well, we have to multiply this by H1, G3, this one, yeah? So what's going to happen is this. So what's going to happen is like this, right? So this is the the denominator, right? And then what's going to happen is that uh, we have to simplify the 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 the, the lower side, right? Uh, this one. So in, in order for us to simplify the, the, the denominator here, the denominator, so in, in order to simplify the denominator, we ha just have to um, to get the Denominator, right? The one plus G two, G three, H three, G two, G three, yeah. So it's like this: uh, G one, G two, G three, then one plus G two, G three, H three. This one, G two, G three, H three, then plus G two, H two. G2, H2, then G1, G2, H1, G1, G2, H1. So that, that that's going to be the the final result. Now when we when we multiply this, I mean when we simplify this, it's going to be G1. G2, G3, then 1 plus G2, G3, H3, G2, G3, H3, right? And then plus, plus G2, H2, then um. G1, G2, H1, plus G1, G2, H1. Why? Because this one will be canceled out, right? G1, G2, H1, G2, H1. Okay, G1, G2, H1. And uh, the, the, the denominator will be canceled out, okay? I think uh, we're, we're clear with this. Okay, uh, we, we move on to the um, last example. Uh, I mean, from one to 10 this is the last example. So what we have here is that um, what complicates the, the problem is this, right? This, um, there is a feedback, there's a feedback here going to this and then another it's going to here, right? Um, so how do we simplify this line? As you can see from, from this uh, feed forward, so it goes here, then it goes again to H1, 
to the summing points um, in the summing, the first summing point. No? So the question is, uh, how do we intend to simplify first? Now, what is our approach? So our approach is uh, we we decompose this, right? So first, we have to get this, right? And then another is we isolate this, and then here we transfer at the bottom this one. But you see this one will um, still um, pass on to the H2. So it, 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 it involves H2, no, it involves H2. No, so let, let me clear this. I mean, uh, the, the number 10, right? Let me clear everything. Okay. So our, 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 our approach is this, right? So once we clear this, no? So there's a signal coming here and there's another signal that pass on H2 and going to, to, to H1, okay? So so that's our um, challenge. What I'm saying is this, now, this is the original. So here, there's a signal going to the feedback here for the third summing junction. And then another another way to, to interpret is um, there's another uh, signal coming here. Then it will pass also here and go straight here. Okay. And how do we, how do we uh, treat that? So it's like, um, how do we put this? It's like this, um, we, we isolate this, now we isolate this, G2. So there is an H2 here, there's no problem here, H2. But there's another line here that passes the same block, which is H2, and then goes, no, I just, I just break it down, it goes to H1, and then going to the first summing junction, which is a negative uh, sign, no? So as you can see, the relation of this block to this block is they are arranged in series. Now, what we intend to do is just multiply the, the, the both of them. We have to multiply. And that, that, that's what uh, this uh, slide is doing, right? So we multiply H1 and H2, and that's going to be it. And then we move a bit uh, farther down so that uh, it will be arranged properly. So here, so here is this, G2, H2, right? And then H3, you know, H3 and the second summing point, this one is this, and then H1, H2, no, H1, H2, and the first summing junction, Okay, so now it's a lot easier because this we can um, simplify by feedback and then we're going to multiply this because they are in two. And then uh, they are again in feedback. No, and then again feedback. Okay, that's uh, Mm -hmm. 
So we start by simplifying the, the feedback loop here. So what we intend to do here is like this. The formula is the feed forward, then one, what is the reverse of this plus, then the product of the blocks in the loop, no? G2, H2. So here, no? G2, H2, and this is G2, right? So <clears throat> to, to eliminate uh, this, right? So this becomes like this, and all we have to do is to multiply with the first uh, uh, block. So multiplying this with this, which is this one, so it's like G1, G2, 1 over G2, uh, G2, H2, this one. Okay, now, what do we make of this? Um, the second loop is also feedback, right? Second loop is a feedback. So what we intend to do is to clear this out, right? So feed forward, let us do that. The feed forward is G1, G2, one plus g2 h2 then one it is negative so we put positive then gh this is g and this is h no? so we just copy that g1 g2 one plus g2 h2 this one and then the h this time it is h3 So how do we intend to clear this up? As you can see, there's a common denominator, which is G to H to N. We're gonna, we're gonna use that, right? This one is one multiplied by one plus G to H to. This is uh, one plus G to H to. So those will be canceled out, and uh, cancel out means one, no? So any number or expression divided by itself is one. So one over one is one, it's like times one. So what will be left is this, you know? In the numerator, G1, G2. What about this? So we have to distribute, no? We have to multiply this with this, right? So let, let us do that. One plus G2, H2. Then when we multiply this with this, the whole thing will be canceled out, right? So what will be left is G2, uh, G1, G2, no? and then it's uh, separated by, by plus sign G1, G2. Now the last is uh, here, no, uh, H3, right? So we don't have right now, we don't have this. But this one we have to multiply. Okay. So this will be um, the one to to be put in the numerator, and this one is in the denominator, right? So let us do that. So G one G two G one G two. That's it. And then this one is one plus uh, G two. Uh, H2 plus G1, G2, H3 plus G1, G2, H1, H2. I think uh, it's already here, no? the, the the feedback. But uh, what what uh, we left off is this, no? 1 plus G2, H2, 1 or plus G1, G1, G2, H3. Yeah. 1 plus G2, H2, G1, G2, H3. So this is the thing here, right? Now, since we have this H1, H2, no? So this one will have H1, H2. No, so uh, here, no, we have to simplify the last, this one now. This, because this one, we already captured this with this now. G1, G2 over G1 plus G2, H2 plus G1, G2, H3. Now the feedback now is only this, right? H1, H2, which is this. So how do we clear this, right? So 
from the feedback uh, canonical form, since it is negative, so one plus G H. Now in, in this case, the G is this, and then the H is this, right? So here <laughs> we have to put the G here in the numerator, right? And then uh, we can simplify, you know, right? We can we can simplify this. So so when we simplify this as what I did last time, G1, G2 will uh, be left because uh, this is what we're going to use, right? One plus G two H two, then one plus G two H two. So this will be cancelled out, cancelled out. So this one G one G two. But here we have to distribute. Now when we distribute, we distribute this. Um, what's what's gonna happen is uh, one plus G two H two. Then this one will be cancelled out, right? Then G one G two right and then uh, h3 yeah okay so here is the numerator and here is the denominator for this no and then um let me put that so g, this one is g1 g2 over 1 plus g2 h2 and then Mm -hmm. then g1 g2 h3 right so now this becomes the numerator and the denominator and the, i mean the the denominator is one plus this one yeah g1 g2 over one plus g2 h2 plus g1 G two H three times H one H two. Okay, so if we if we um, clear this out, if we clear this out. So we're gonna use this full term. We're gonna use this full term you now as a common denominator, as a common denominator. So when we multiply this or uh, with this, so since since this is in in the, in the denominator this is the the major bar now bar line divisor so when we have this all this will be left uh, this will be cancelled out and then we're gonna distribute this one plus g2 h2 plus g1 g2 h3 when you multiply that now one plus g2 h2 g1 g2 uh h3 this is it right so this is what's going to happen with this. Then here, all these things will be canceled out, right? Because uh, that's the common denominator. What will be left is G1, G2, then H1, H2, no? Because we have to multiply with this. G1, G2, H1, H2, no? this one. Okay, are we clear? So I think that's it, no? And then moving on, we're going to, tackle the homework there are i think five of this and then um, after that there is uh, this this uh, exercise exercise for the agreement of block diagram so that's it for now and uh, we'll continue after a while thank you mm -hmm.